What's up, everyone? What I wanted to share with you are the skill sets, the top skill sets that you're gonna need to do and know for six figures in 2022. Now, I don't have a ton of time to go through this because I gotta get on my next Zoom meeting here, but let's dive into this. Number one that we're gonna look at is our roadmap. So uh, when we look at our roadmap, this is the skill set that you've gotta get dominated in 2022. And what I'm gonna go through is what pieces of those roadmap look like. But more importantly, we always have to remember that we have four quarters in the year and we also have two halves in the year. So when we look at expanding, we need to make sure that we're expanding in a couple of different ways. Number one way we need to look at we're expanding is through our leverage here this next year. So for example, what is your roadmap on first, second, third, fourth quarter, and then the first half of the year and the second half of the year on how you will leverage? I'm gonna talk about that in the second point. When we look at innovation right here, we have technology assets and we have human assets. But when you look to create this roadmap and you mix it with your innovation of bringing this leverage space in, you have to have a really clear leadership system, which is all about your culture and your values. But let's back up to on this roadmap as well. Part of the roadmap, it breaks down into some actions that you can use. Action number one that we're gonna look at, it's called a smart day, okay? Smart Day is a 30-minute CEO meeting with yourself, a CEO meeting where you spend 30 minutes getting clear on your top three to five outcomes of the day. That's gonna be a business king that builds a nation. It's gonna be someone that optimizes and maximizes their health and vitality, maybe being, being that mom or that dad that is fully present with their kids. We all have three to five major outcomes a day, but what I found out is, is realtors like you or business people like you, you get stuck because you have a million and seven things to do that are running in your head. And I'm gonna, I teach a system called a smart day where you'll find out you really only have about 15 to 21 things to get done today to hit these top three to five outcomes. And I can teach you how to do that. But the other action that you need to look at is actually called a smart week. A smart week is a once a week meeting with yourself for 90 minutes to two hours. And the idea is all about what I call a think time. Write that down. It might be one of the most important things that I'm gonna talk about today. When a think time is where you ask yourself high quality questions. You don't like the answers you're getting in your business or your finances or your relationship or your health or your financial freedom, stop asking the shitty questions that are giving you the shitty answers and ask questions that give you the answers you want to receive, right? So for example, here's a powerful question. What would your business look like in 2022 if you didn't lose one referral client? Or what would your business look like this year in 2022 if every one of your clients from 2021 sent you two referrals? What would your business look like? These are the tops of types of quality questions we've got to begin asking. And so when we come up with these um, nine, or with these smart days and smart weeks and we're looking to go ahead, we wanna begin to look at also this very important concept right here. Let me get my, uh, my ink back on. And we wanna look at a 90 day action plan. 90 day action plan, all right? And you're gonna update this 90 day action plan every 30 days. So when you do a smart week, the last one of the month, right before you start the next month, you're gonna get clear, what does your next 90 days look like? But you're gonna do that every month. Why? Because I can promise you this, your 90 day action plan, your roadmap for 2022, this year will get fucked up. It will get knocked off its game. You'll get a wrench in your spokes and it's how you show up in those moments that you realize that chaos is the gift. It's happening for you and it's the universe realigning to get where you're going, to grow where you're going. Because um, I'll be honest with you, we're having a, a new world order that's coming through. And if you can't figure out how to do that in the world of real estate, you're going to go out of business. Let's go ahead and look at uh, innovation now. Here's what we need to innovate on most importantly. Number one is you need to innovate your communication. Okay, Your communication is a must in this because how, how we are communicating today, uh, whoops, now we got knocked off course. How we're communi communicating today is different than when I started in this business in 2005. See, I love cold calling. I've made more cold calls than probably any other real estate professional out there and business owner. But I also realized today that 
the four-step sell system we're going to go over in a second is about meaningful conversations. And meaningful conversations don't happen always through cold calls anymore. Not that you can't do it, but the, here's the idea is you got to learn how are you having persuasive and influential, write that down, persuasive and influential conversations. You've got to master the art of linguistics. The other thing is though, you got to understand what is my technology assets via Zoom? Are you doing listing presentations via Zoom? Team meetings via Zoom? One of our clients, Antoine Thomas, he did about $750,000 in revenue last year, about 125 sold units. He sold zero of them because his team did it. He's a fifth level agent where he's an owner. We took him there in about three years. One of the things that we were looking at is he has been so stingy on his standards that people didn't want to meet them, which is great. That's his core team. That becomes his core team. And he's got one agent that makes the company about 250 grand a year alone. He's not doing this with 30 or 40 agents. He's doing this with nine agents, this type of business. And last year, he only had four agents. We've expanded in the last 60 days from four agents to nine agents in his organization. But as we look at this, one of the things that he's realizing is that he can expand across the nation with real brokerage and what we're building and build an expansion team in 50 different states if he can shift his standards to where he can lead only via Zoom. Like me and my organization, 95% of the time, everything happens virtually. We literally hardly ever see each other. Mickey now sees me more often because we come in, shoots content, but you gotta learn your technology assets, your CRM, how are you leveraging video, how are you leveraging your communication through voice note drops and video drops, and making sure that this is happening. The other thing we wanna look at is your innovation of human assets. How are you attracting talent? Because no matter what level you are, to get where you're going, you will not do it alone. You either need to be in a coaching program, a mastermind, a training program. You need to be on a team. You need to be leading a team. You need to be leading an organization. You need to be partnering with other people in your organization. You need to have those allies. That is how you create the success. When I train people and they come into my organization, there's three things we focus on. The first is scaling their business to seven figures. That's where we take them. The second is creating real financial freedom. And the third is doing it with way more joy and excitement. Um, let's go ahead on to the third step that we need to look at here in 2022 for this skill set. It's the skill set of world-class marketing. And it boils down to this right here, what I've got off to the side. I want you to write that down. Lead flow. Your marketing is about lead flow. Lead flow will lead to the sales system I'm going to talk to you about when we talk about sales system results. What would it do to your business if you could triple your lead flow in 2022. I'm talking qualified leads. If you took 2021 and went to 2022 and you just simply 3x the number of quality leads you had, what would that do to your business? Because I can help you do that. One way is you got to really dial in your branding. Your branding is so what's so important. If you think about what your company stands for, what you stand for, is it has a network of people. These are past clients, it's your organization, it's your, your sellers, your buyers, your investors, the people that wanna work with you. It's, it's this, your network then has a flag that it flies, it's a brand. Like if you look at my brand right here, WGR, this is my flag. This brand is so easy to build today if you use innovation with your technology assets and understanding how to do it. The question is, do you know how to do it? Write this down, proximity, proximity is power. In the olden days, when our my parents grew up, who they were born in the 50s, and they grew up clear, you know, where they were young in their 20s in the 80s, that was the, the time frame. They were born in 57, 59. So in the late, uh, in the early 80s, they were in their 20s. And they were taught, it's not, uh, it's go to school, get a job and prepare for retirement. And then it started shifting in the 80s and the 90s of not what you know, but who you know. But let me know if you've heard that before. Not what you know, but who you know. And now it's today, it's no longer what you, or who you know. It's who knows you, who deserves your attention. And one of the ways that we do that is through proximity. So you have to ask yourself, who do you need to get into proximity with in 2022? And who deserves your proximity? Who deserves your attention? Follow me here. Give me a heads, a thumbs up if you get that. So I'm going to be talking all about this, though, here on my next three-day challenge on January 24th, 25th, 26th. 
Um, there's a link if you're watching this on YouTube, you can register for that. If you're seeing this somewhere else, just maybe say sign me up or put a yes in the in the chat box and we'll get you signed up for it. It's three days, 90 minutes each day for three days. I'm gonna go in depth on this. But the final thing, the final two things I wanna go over is the first is this right here which is your messaging. When you have a brand story and you have a network to distribute it to, you need a message. For example, my message is make a difference. Very simple, everything we do, that's what we get the message out for. But here's the final piece to that, which is consistently consistency. Just like everything, you gotta be consistently delivering this message. Let's go on to the fourth skill set you gotta have in 2022, and that's really developing this sales system here, ladies and gentlemen, of a four-step sales system. I'm gonna give it to you real quick, I'll teach it in details coming up, but the first of the four-step sales system is all about contacts. Now, you're either in the business where people are constantly reaching out to you, or you've gotta be reaching out to them. And if they're not reaching out to you, your job is to be reaching out. And it goes to the second part, which is meaningful conversations. This is typically a critical driver, one of the most important daily activities for you or anyone in your organization. In fact, we measure this in my company, no matter what your role is, if you're a virtual assistant, if you're the director of operations, if you're me, if you're our, our videographer, we are all about meaningful conversations. And the magic number on that is 30 meaningful conversations every single day. How you do that shifted from even five years ago. I, here's one of my ways I hit meaningful conversations. Voice note drops and personalized videos through DMs on Instagram or Facebook or through iMessage. I literally will look at my top 40 relationships. I'm like, dude, I gotta get 10 personalized videos out to these people today. The third thing that you gotta look at after meaningful conversations is all about setting up appointments. I was teaching my daughter this on the drive. We have about a 30 minute drive to their private school that they go to. And I use that team time to teach them about business and financial freedom and wealth and happiness. And I was teaching them about the four step sales system today. One of them is when I'm doing these conversations and I ignite, which I can still do via telephone by the way as, as well. My objective is whoops, to set three or more appointments a day. And if you're in real estate, it's a listing appointment, it's a buyer appointment, or it's a networking appointment. If you're in leadership of your business in real estate, it's also setting networking appointments with agents. This is a whole other conversation, but your job in order to scale your business from being an operator that does everything to an owner that leads everything, that is all about talent acquisition. So who you have conversation with never stops, but it changes. You follow me here? So you never stop this piece of meaningful conversations. You never stop this piece of setting up appointments. Got it? And then the fourth piece is giving a presentation to monetize. Presentation for the money, for the dollars. That's what we're after right, right there is presentation for money. Got it? So when we look at presentation for the money, we have to close through a referral, through a contract signed, for someone working with us into our organization. And if you're less than $200,000 a year, we're focusing on buyer and seller deals. If you're above that, we're, so, we're focusing on talent acquisition and building out your systems. You follow me here? Um, let's go ahead to the fifth key step, which is a financial and legal system. I won't spend a ton of time here, but this is about cash flow management. It's about tax-free wealth. It's about asset protection. And you've got to understand this because you're in business for profit. If, if, if you agree with that and you're watching this somewhere and there's a way to put a comment or send me a message, send me some dollar signs if you're in business for money and not for charity. I'm not saying I own a foundation or I run a foundation, I, sh I should say. If, if that is still for profit, every business is for profit, it's just how that profit is spent. Is it in contribution or not? We are here to increase profits. Got it? And the way you do it is a simple cash flow management system, tax-free wealth system, and an asset protection plan. And we teach this to our high-end clients. In fact, every November I take my top mastermind members in my business and financial mastery program, and I take them for three days in South Florida to master this piece alone. I'm gonna be going over some of this here on the 24th, 5th, and 6th. The 6th and 7th kind of go hand in hand. So write this down, Optimax. It stands for optimization and maximization. You have to Optimax all these other systems. And you might be thinking, shit, how do I get all this done if I'm only one person? If you're a single agent, sounds overwhelming, but it's simple. I'll teach you a simple system with your smart weeks on how to manage and lead all of this. 
But here's what we really want to go after, which is raving fans, which is the seventh skill set you got to master. And the raving fans goes like this. One is your leadership organization. These are your top three or four people in your organization. If you don't have three or four people, you are the three or four people. You got to lead yourself first. The second is your core group. These are probably your next four to 10 individuals that are just core people of driving your business forward. And if you don't have those four to 10 people, you are those four to 10 people, depending on where you're at in these systems. And then the third is your organization. As you start to expand your organization, I got a real estate division, I got a real estate coaching and training division, and I also have a real estate brokerage um, division with real brokerage that we really focus on in our tracking of agents. I got 550 agents in that side of our organization that we lead. In our real estate division, I've got about, oh, I'm guessing off the top of my head, nine people in that organization that I have to lead. And if we look in our academy division, I've got another five or six people in that division. So you start to build out this organization that has to be a level of leadership. These first three are all internal. The next two, uh, four and five, number four is your top 40 relationships. These are the most important relationships for you that are gonna actually give you the unknown opportunity that's off of your radar. It's like you can't even see these opportunities. It's where the referrals come from, the investment opportunity come from, the networking opportunity come from, and most importantly, the proximity. Because remember, proximity is power. So these are people that you want even more a relationship with. That, that you ask that question, who deserves my attention? These people, these top 40 deserve even more of your attention. Got it? And then your job is to deliver and add value to them. And then the fifth is, Active and passive cl past clients. Some of these active and past clients could be in your top relationships. I've had past clients join my organization and come be a sales agent for us, right? But our active and past clients have got to become raving fans as well. And all of these systems work together in order to make it happen. So here's what, here's what I'm gonna do. Hopefully you guys got some information of it. I want you, first of all, drop down below in one of the comments if you're watching this on somewhere. Um, what is your takeaway? But the second thing is, is January 24th, 5th, and 6th, I am going to be doing a three-day challenge, 90 minutes every single day, starting at 10 a.m. Mountain. That's uh, 12 p.m. Eastern. For 90 minutes, I'm going to break down these seven skill sets you got to master for 2022 to go multiple six figures. And I'm not talking just $200,000. Some of you, that's where you got to get to is 200K, but I'm talking 500, 750,000 and a few of you. You're going to go to seven figures this year and that's great. These are the seven forces. These are the seven steps and skill sets. So if you're watching this on, on Instagram or Facebook, send me a DM or drop in the chats down below or in the comments down below. Yes, I want to come to this. Let me know and my team will get you the registration link. If you're watching this on YouTube or somewhere else, make sure that you click the link. There's a link somewhere down below or up above and click the link if you can see that. Look for it and register. It's going to happen via Zoom. So uh, you're going to be on camera with me. One of the things I said, proximity is power. And if you want more proximity to me and what I'm teaching, if this aligns with you, you this is this. people ask me all the time, Colton, how much is it to coach with you? It's literally $30,000 a year if you pay in full. That gets you three 15-minute calls per month. That's it. Three 15-minute calls per month is $36,000 if you finance it with me. And people are asking, how do I mentor with you? I'm literally giving you a chance for free to come mentor with me for three full days. What I teach my top clients like Antoine Thomas, Kayla Lindsay, James Mitchell, these are all seven-figure earners in their business. And I'm going to share with you exactly what I help them do. Go from $100,000 a year to over a million dollars a year following these exact steps. All right, so drop that chat down below. Make sure you click the link and get on this three-day challenge with me, with me. It's not gonna be a giant sales pitch or anything like that. It's gonna be complete value add. I'm gonna show you more roadmap steps on proximity and how you grow. We'll see you there.